The alien abyss, Earth's final frontier. Seven miles beneath the ocean's surface, in crushing darkness that has never known sunlight, something impossible thrives. While humans mapped every crater on Mars and peered into distant galaxies, 95% of our own planet's oceans remain as mysterious as alien worlds. What lurks in Earth's deepest trenches makes science fiction look mundane. The abyss is alive, and it's nothing like the world above. This isn't just about curious sea creatures. It's about rewriting the rules of life itself. The deepest oceans harbor ecosystems that shouldn't exist, creatures that defy biology and possibly the very origins of life on Earth. If we don't understand what lies beneath our own seas, how can we claim to understand our planet at all? We've explored less of our ocean depths than the surface of the moon, leaving an alien world spinning silently beneath our feet. Descend past the last traces of sunlight, beyond where any plant has ever grown, into pressures that would instantly crush a human body into a marble-sized sphere. Here, at depths where the water pressure exceeds 1,000 times that at sea level, life doesn't just survive, it thrives in ways that shatter everything we thought we knew about biology. Giant tube worms longer than baseball bats cluster around volcanic vents, feeding not on sunlight but on toxic chemicals that would kill surface life instantly. These aren't just deep sea oddities. They represent an entirely different tree of life, one that doesn't depend on the sun at all. Bioluminescent jellyfish the size of dinner tables drift like alien spacecraft through the void, their bodies generating light through chemical reactions unknown to surface science. But the real revelation came from the Mariana Trench, Earth's deepest scar. At 36,000 feet down, deeper than Mount Everest is tall, scientists expected a lifeless wasteland. Instead, they found amphipods the size of small dogs, their bodies adapted to pressures that would liquefy steel, feeding on the rain of organic matter that drifts down from the world above like ghostly snow. Wait, what? The deepest oceans aren't just hosting alien life. They might be alien life. Scientists now theorize that life on Earth didn't begin in shallow tidal pools as long believed, but in the crushing depths around hydrothermal vents. These underwater volcanoes create perfect chemical laboratories, mixing minerals and gases in ways that could spontaneously generate the first living molecules. The creatures of the abyss aren't Earth's strangest inhabitants. They're its oldest residents, the direct descendants of life's first experiments. Every deep sea monster is a living fossil, a window into what Earth looked like when life was still figuring out how to exist.